Imagine a decade of unwavering dedication, directorial changes, and a looming corporate merger that threatens to erase it all. Welcome to the tumultuous journey of Channing Tatum and his relentless pursuit of bringing the charming mutant Gambit to the big screen. In this video, we'll uncover the highs, lows, and the ultimate question. Will we see a Gambit movie after his rumored cameo in Deadpool 3? You know, Channing Tatum has been really determined to make a Gambit movie happen for almost 10 years. You see, artists, whether they're painting wild masterpieces or starring in Hollywood blockbusters, need a spark of passion to kickstart their day. It's like the secret sauce that makes them jump out of bed in the morning. And for Channing Tatum, the guy known for movies like Foxcatcher and Step Up, there was one project that he couldn't let go of. That project? A Gambit movie, featuring that smooth-talking Marvel Comics mutant. It's a story filled with twists and turns, kind of like a real-life roller coaster for the 21 Jump Street star. You know, when you look at the X-Men universe, Gambit came into the scene pretty late, making his comic debut in 1990. Compare that to characters like Dazzler, who've been around in various comic issues for years before him. But here's the thing about Gambit, he quickly became a fan favourite. This smooth-talking thief has a certain charm that's hard to resist, making him not only just a beloved character, but also a bit of a heartthrob. If there's one mutant who can make readers swoon, it's this dashing guy from New Orleans who's always twirling those playing cards. Considering how popular he became and the success of the X-Men movies, it was pretty much inevitable that Gambit would eventually make his way to the big screen. You wouldn't believe how close Gambit came to making his big screen debut a decade ago. After a brief mention in X2, X-Men United, he was all set to appear in X-Men The Last Stand. Channing Tatum was even running to play Gambit in that movie. But, oh boy, it was a wild ride. The production was a mess, with scripts constantly changing, and that chaos ultimately led to Gambit's character being axed from the film. Then came X-Men Origins Wolverine, where Gambit was supposed to have a major role, and Channing Tatum was the top pick for that part. But guess what? His commitment to G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra got in the way, and once again, Gambit slipped through his fingers. It was starting to look like Gambit was the mutant with the worst luck, at least when it came to making it to the big screen. Well, when Gambit's role in X-Men Origins Wolverine went to Taylor Kitsch, it seemed like things were finally falling into place. Fans were hopeful that this Wolverine movie would open the door to spin-off films featuring beloved mutants like Gambit and Deadpool, who also made an appearance. But X-Men Origins Wolverine turned out to be a bit of a joke, and not in a good way. It didn't quite hit the mark, and as a result, all those dreams of a standalone Gambit movie were basically washed away. 20th Century Fox decided to shift their focus to other comic book properties like X-Men First Class. So no matter how badly Channing Tatum or anyone else wanted to be Gambit, it looked like it just wasn't on the cards anytime soon. In the early days of 2014, something exciting was brewing in the X-Men universe. Producer Lauren Shula Donna dropped a bombshell when she announced that they were making room for Gambit once again, and this time Channing Tatum was stepping into the role. They were brainstorming ideas for a standalone Gambit movie, even though 20th Century Fox hadn't officially given it the green light yet. But you could feel the passion simmering behind the scenes. What's interesting is that this revelation came before the Deadpool movie revival, and we all know how that turned out. Massive box office success and a newfound obsession at Fox with standalone X-Men spin-offs. So the fact that they were already considering a Gambit movie at that point shows just how much enthusiasm there was to bring this card-slinging mutant to life even if it didn't quite fix into Fox's initial plans for the X-Men saga. By May 2014, just four months after Donna's comments and roughly a year after Tatum had made headlines talking about his love for Gambit during the White House down press tour, it had become official. A solo Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum is now on the docket at 20th Century Fox. At the time, no creative team beyond the producers was attached to the motion picture, but there were initial plans to introduce Tatum's Gambit in X-Men Apocalypse. In a short span of time, Gambit had gone from being a mutant gathering dust on a shelf somewhere to being a hot commodity for an in-demand movie star. As the pieces fell into place, the Gambit movie started picking up even more steam. In October 2014, they brought on Josh Zetuma as the first official screenwriter for the project. Then in early 2015, 20th Century Fox dropped a bombshell. Gambit was scheduled to hit theatres on October 7th, 2016. This was big news, especially because Fox already had two other X-Men projects lined up for 2016, Deadpool and X-Men Apocalypse. It was shaping up to be a monumental year for Fox's Marvel ventures. 
The excitement didn't stop there. In June 2015, Rupert Wyatt signed on to direct the film, adding even more star power to the project. Channing Tatum himself played a prominent role at the 2015 San Diego International Comic Con, where he was part of a panel dedicated to the upcoming Fox Marvel project. Gambit was clearly becoming a critical piece of Fox's superhero puzzle, and fans couldn't wait to see it all come together. Just when things were looking up for the Gambit movie with Lea Sado on the board as a female lead, a major roadblock hit the production. Director Rupert Wyatt decided to step away from the project. In hindsight, Wyatt shared some insights into what his version of the Gambit film would have been like. He revealed that a significant portion of it would have been set in the 1970s, giving it a unique vibe. But Wyatt's departure had everything to do with the 2015 Fantastic Four movie, which turned out to be a box office disaster. This prompted Fox to slash the budget for Gambit, making it impossible to execute Wyatt's vision within the new financial constraints, so he made the tough call to walk away. But Gambit wasn't down for the count just yet. As we enter the early weeks of 2019, a last-ditch effort was proposed. Channing Tatum, along with a creative partner Reed Carolyn, would take the reins and co-direct the film. It was a risky proposition, especially for a comic book movie, but it would ensure that Gambit wouldn't lose its directors again. Unfortunately, Fox decided to pass on this idea. And then in May 2019, just two months after Disney's purchase of various Fox Studios was finalized, Gambit was officially declared dead. It was a turbulent journey, filled with twists and turns, and it seems like the card-slinging mutant solo adventure was not meant to be. Now we're in 2023 and the hopes are high as the sky. Could it finally be happening? The long-standing rumors of Channing Tatum making an appearance as Gambit in Deadpool 3 just got a fresh spark of interest. These rumors have been swirling since as far back as July 2023, with Hollywood Insider My Time to Shine Hello dropping hints about Tatum's involvement. Over the months, we've heard whispers about Tatum donning a comic-accurate costume and even getting into the nitty-gritty details of his role. But what's really turning heads now is a new listing on IMDb. It shows Channing Tatum and his stunt double on the cast list for Deadpool 3. With this listing, the rumors are back in full swing and fans are eagerly speculating about what this could mean for the mess with a mouth and the card-slinging mutant. Is the Gambit cameo finally becoming a reality and could this lead to a standalone Gambit movie? Let us know your opinions in the comment section. This marks the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and share it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.